guys, John here with another shave video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done this, but um, I'm still trying to get the hang of the straight razor thing, and I didn't want to disappoint by stopping videos because I was bleeding pretty bad. So um, the other day I got myself right about here, um, bled pretty good. So you know, maybe not quite like a stuck pig, but it bled. So. Um, hopefully this one doesn't get interrupted like that one did, um, but at any rate, um, today we are going to be going with, uh, Phoenix Artisan, Good Vibrations. I wish you guys could smell this stuff. It is amazing. All I can say, if you want, if you're thinking about getting it, get it. It's awesome. And then we'll be finishing off with some good old Club Man. Um, say what you will about Club Man. Um, it worked for our grandpa, so why wouldn't it work now? That's all I'll say. And they wouldn't still be around if it didn't still work. So, at any rate, we're going to get the face weighted down. I'm going to do pre-shave with the PAA cube today. Give that stuff a whirl. See how it goes. And I always try to make sure that uh, I don't make my hands any slicker than I need to be. So, thank goodness for this little meshed article bag I got here and I'm sure this menthol is going to have me about half crying so bear with me here but uh, we'll get this stuff rubbed in and And like I said, since I uh, nicked myself pretty good on the mustache area today, and probably for about a week or so, it's going to be a no-fly zone. So we're going to leave that. Who knows, maybe I've been wanting to grow a handlebar mustache for a hell of a long time. Maybe this is the perfect excuse to start. So we shall see. But like I said, I'm sure that this menthol is going to have me feeling like I'm standing outside in an ice storm. But... <laughs> These rinsed off, and we're going to be rolling today with the 26 millimeter Sir Hair synthetic brush, as well as the Gold Dollar 208. So, get rid of this pre-shave soap, get it out of the way. And pour out the bloom water here from the PAA, and we'll start getting our brush loaded up. So, now, in my experience with PAA soaps, it tends to be pretty thirsty, so um, don't be surprised if I'm dabbling in water quite a bit, which is, I mean, I'm thankful that the soap's that way, and you know that I don't keep having to go back to the puck too much. But I, I wish you guys could smell this stuff. I mean, if it had to be, you know, a word to describe it, carefree, it just smells amazing. So, and I mean, you can kind of tell. Where's the? There it is. See how thick that stuff gets? It's awesome. So it's going to go on pretty sloppy at first. And we'll just start adding water to it. And I'm going on about eh, 48 hours growth here, so um, I'm trying not to make the straight razor an everyday thing, obviously. And since my job kind of requires me to shave, not necessarily work, but when I have to wear a mask, the growth turns into Velcro, and uh, I don't really care for that effect. So I just make it a point to stay clean shaven at all times. Plus, you know, with this new hobby I've started recently, no problem, no qualms with me doing that. So, and like I said, you can tell that this is still pretty, pretty thirsty to dry soap right now. So, we'll keep adding water till we get the desired effect, and I'll put you guys on hold until I get there. Okay, and we are back. Um, like I said, I hope this goes better than the last few times I attempted this. Um, last time was not bad, but uh, at any rate, I don't want to disappoint and I don't want to embarrass myself at the same time. So, first pass. Cheers, guys. Here we go.
I think one of the biggest flaws that I've had recently is that I've been trying to make full contact with the blade on my face, whereas certain curves and spots you only need like a little fraction of it. So um, that's one thing that I've been trying to work on. Um, I am pretty excited. I got uh, three vintage razor blades honed up by SMG, the Shave Master General, John Romanoff, down in Florida. Um, they just got confirmation he dropped those in the mail today, so I'm excited to get those back. Um, to Sheffields, as, as well as another razor from around the 1950s. So, very excited about that. difficult part of the right hand. For those of you who do know me, I know I'm left-handed, so I'm still trying to get a little bit better confidence in using the right hand for more fine-tuned activities such as this. I did end up nicking up some spots right down in here, so if I bust those open, that doesn't count for today. So, and with being so new to this, I'm going to try and get as much as I can done with the straight, but I may end up going to the DE to clean up some troublesome areas rather than get too pesky with this. But I can't, again, talk enough good things about this soap from PAA. Um, Bella Smythe and his wife definitely have it going on when it comes to this stuff. And I know that wasn't all completely with the grain there, so um, I'm just trying to make sure that I get out of the pesky areas as best I can. It always seems like that absolute last second of a certain pass is right when I keep thinking that everything's going right the way it needs to this time and BAM! I'm laid open. So, um, I will be right back. I'm gonna rinse the face and relather up and then we'll go for the second pass. Okay, we're back. We're gonna go pass number two. We're gonna go against the grain.
and then that's I feel like I jinx myself, but this is going a hell of a lot better than it has the last few times. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to concentrate. Usually I'm not quite this quiet most of the time. For those of you who do know me, there are times that I don't shut up, and then there's other times where you can hardly get me to say anything. So, um, this is one of those times where better to be quiet and concentrating, at least until I get more get the hang of this. Then, you know, you'll probably hear a lot more out of me, but we'll kind of go from there. I have been trying to let the right hand do more, um, but uh, I'm still just trying to get a little bit more of the motions down than anything. So, hence the fact that I'm not um, putting it in the right hand other than the spots where I absolutely need to. Um, once I get a little bit more confident with it, I think that we can... Uh, branch out a little bit more and uh, try and go for a little bit more, not necessarily daring, but allow for a little bit easier shave without being so dependent upon the dominant hand. So um, I'm going to let you guys go for a moment. I'm going to rinse up, lather up again for the third and final pass. Okay guys, it's time for the third and final pass. So. Um, Let's, uh, let's pray here. So this one's going to be across the grain. So start with the dreaded right hand. And I can see I busted open a little zit there on my neck. So, um, you know, whether you want to say that counts against me. You know, I'm just happy to be doing this and not ending up in the hospital just yet. So, um, just about anything is better than what's been going on lately, so. Alright, so, again... So much cleaner than any other razors will do. And, you know, I've, I've said in a, another one of my videos that I did, one of the few, um, you know, I spent nine years in the military, and uh, I used to beat the hell out of my face with cartridge razors just to be inspection ready. And I'm telling you what, it <laughs> this is the life compared to that, because I'll tell you, I like I said, I beat the hell out of my face, and... You know, I wish I had come into this hobby a lot sooner than at 39 years old. You know, damn near 40. So, um, you know, I mean, am I saying I already got one foot in the grave? No, even though I joke about that all the time. But, um, I really wish that I would have come to this a lot sooner in my life than 39 years old. I am happy to say, though, I have two boys, um, a third, uh, 15 year old, and who's already straight razor shaving now because of this, and a, <laughs> you know, he hardly touched the DE yet, and then a 12 year old who will probably be shaving before I know it, 
Um, both of them are wrestlers, so they always have to be clean shaven for competition. So, um, not that the 12 year old ever has had to yet, but now that he's in middle school, it's only a matter of time before it starts. And, you know, if we have some of these tools already in place for them, DE blades and this and that, then we're probably not going to be spending as much as what my parents were on all the Mach 3s and um, Mach 3 and Fusion blades all the damn time. My par my poor parents and wife, you know. <laughs> but, so, um, at any rate, aside from just a little bit right here, That is a damn fine shave, or DFS, as uh, IMCDB says all the time. So, um, I'm going to rinse up real quick and we'll get into the post, alright? Okay, we're all rinsed up now. Um, obviously, we have a lot of residual slickness. That CK6 formula from PAA is amazing. Um, like I said, the smell of this good vibration, the stove just looming in there, it smells awesome. Um, but, like I said, no worry about the razor gliding over skin or anything else. I mean, you know, other than opening up a little zit down here on the neck. Um, not a bad shave for, I think it's straight razor shave number five. Um, but at any rate, um, you know, obviously skills are still very much a work in progress. So, at any rate, um... In order for a little antiseptic effect, we're going to go with some Clubman. Like I said, your grandpas would be proud of me, and they'd be proud of you if you ordered yourself some, wherever you might find it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not hard to find. There's a Clubman site, as well as uh, good old Amazon, who... Woo! It's definitely got some burn to it. Just a tad more. But... At any rate, yeah, your grandpas would be very proud of you for that because that smell right there is the reason your grandma didn't listen to her parents. So, at any rate, guys, I gotta bounce, gotta get to work, keep the shaving clean, most importantly, keep it wet. Bye.